We are starting off here in Dublin today, walking through St. Stephen's Green. We've got a fun day planned. We're gonna go eat. We're also gonna go visit the Guinness Gravity Bar. It's one of those things I don't think you can pass up when you're in Dublin. Besides going to the Guinness Bar, we actually don't have anything planned. Sometimes we like to just let the day unfold and. We're very excited to be here in Dublin. Uh, we've wanted to come for a long time, especially to this country. We think we're just gonna take it in and let the day unfold as it does. This is our first day in Ireland. We're walking through the park and it is 70 degrees and sunny. Absolutely beautiful day and it's supposed to rain later, but I'm really hoping that weather like this holds out for the week that we're here exploring Ireland because that would just be Perfect. It's probably not gonna happen, but we were perfectly comfortable in Scotland. So hopefully we just have weather like we did over there. I think that's the best place to eat in Dublin, Captain America's cookhouse. Behind me is Madeline, and also a Molly Malone statue. She's kind of the Dolly Parton of Ireland. It's, uh, it's good luck if you uh, have to right there. <laughs> We're here at the Temple Bar for our first drink in Dublin. Our first drink in Ireland. We stopped off for a quick beer at the Temple Bar because we had to do it. And uh, it's actually not as crazy of an atmosphere as I thought it might be. Um, great live music and uh, for the touristy spot, I actually enjoy it quite a bit. Well, for lunch, we are heading into the Brazen Head, which is supposed to be Ireland's oldest pub. We decided to get some classic Irish staples. Adam got bangers and mash, and I decided to continue with the Guinness theme today, and I got a Guinness and beef stew. We're hungry, this is our first meal in Ireland, and we're ready to go. Our food has arrived. It looks amazing. It smells great. We're digging right in. Stew came with mashed potatoes on top. Big pieces of beef and oh, carrots in here. Very hearty, rich flavor. Wow. I think I made the right choice. This is absolutely delicious. Well, I have the Brazen Head Red Ale and a full plate of bangers and mash, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, broccoli. It looks amazing. And by the way, I tried Madeline's Guinness Stew. That is so rich in flavor. So, I mean, that is incredible. Um, but I'm excited for what I got. I already cut up some bangers here. A little mashed potato.
So this is the oldest pub in Ireland, serving up some classic Irish dishes, and it is delivering big time. This is a great way to start our trip here in Ireland. We had a delicious lunch at the Brazen Head. Now we are heading to the Guinness Storehouse. We're doing a tour and we're gonna get our first taste of Guinness here in Dublin. Right now, we're in the Stouty bar, and they're going to put our picture in the foam of the beer. Let's see how these turn out. All right, here we go. I think it looks, it looks like me. It looks like us. We're gonna drink ourselves. First Guinness here in Ireland. Actually, I held up through. Mm, yeah, I'm still there. I'm still there. Just a little lopsided. This is the Guinness Gravity Bar. It's like Club Guinness up in here. It's a party vibe for sure here on a Monday. <laughs> We are up at the Guinness Storehouse, high above Dublin right now. You got 360 degree views of the city. We have Ireland's chosen beverage right here, and we're having a great time with this spot. They do an amazing job of teaching you about the property, the process, but it's also a fun experience. The study bar down below was great, seeing our faces on the beer, and of all the kind of gimmicky tricks you can do with beer, that one was pretty good. And then the views up here are phenomenal. So we're gonna finish off our beer, um, and then we're gonna keep enjoying our day here in Dublin. One of the really funny things here at the uh, 360 bar, and maybe this is more common, but they had something called Guinness Clear. So I was asking, um, besides this one, what do they have? And they had a couple other beers, and then there was this Guinness Clear sitting there. So I said, what's Guinness Clear? Uh, Guinness Clear is water, so um, I opted not to get it, but some people, it might be their Guinness choice. Tremendous staff here at the Guinness uh, Storehouse. They do an excellent job of teaching you about the product, but then also letting you sample the product. The Stouty Room was a lot of fun, seeing our face on the beer, and then going up to the 360 bar and seeing all of Dublin, having a beer. Um, 
We really feel welcome here in Ireland and this trip is off to a fantastic start. A tremendous day exploring Dublin so far. We're going to head over to dinner to a spot called Matt the Thresher. It's a seafood bar and grill. Ireland, of course, is sitting in the Atlantic Ocean and they've got some pretty good seafood. This looks like a great spot to grab it over here by St. Stephen's Green and we're looking forward to dinner. We've just put in our order at Matt the Thresher's and we're getting a whole host of seafood. We're starting off with a seafood platter. It's got Dublin Bay prawns, oysters, Irish crab meat, and smoked salmon. Also, for dinner, I'm getting the fish special. It's hake. It's gonna be served with potatoes and other vegetables. Madeline is getting the prawn lunghini, which is served in a spicy cream sauce. The seafood platter has arrived. We've got a couple different types of oysters here. I'm gonna hit this one with a little hot sauce. Might be a lot of hot sauce. A little squeeze of lemon. Already popped it. Mm. Full disclosure, not the biggest oyster fan. That is a huge oyster. It was also very good. No, Adam already said we don't really eat oysters very often, but when they're fresh, on a beautiful platter like this, I'm blocking it. You have to go for it. A little bit of Tabasco. This is some crab meat and a little tiny, I'm assuming potato pancake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're just gonna load it up. And I'm gonna hit it with lemon. Gotta hit it all with a little lemon. That is incredibly fresh. Well, the last item we have on the seafood platter is the smoked salmon. There's also like a crim fresh on here. So. I'm gonna build myself this little smoked salmon stack here. All right, you got it. There you go. There's also caviar right there. So. The salmon here, all the smoked salmon we've had since we were in Scotland, now we're in Ireland. It's so good, it's so fresh. And I see why they eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It just goes easy with every meal. And I think the fresh seafood is one thing that's absolutely blown me away being over here. It's just been so tasty. And we've gotten really, really lucky at some of the spots we've gone to. Some of the spots we've gone to, just how great they are at preparing the seafood. I am so excited for this dish. We've seen it go by several times in anticipation for this. I am so ready. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on top. These prawns are absolutely delicious. All the seafood that we've had here has been so fresh, so delicious. The sauce on this pasta is so light. I got the special tonight, it's cake. It is a beautiful cut of fish served on a bed of greens with some yellow potatoes. And I'm going to just Pull a little bit off right there. Gets right. That is 
pillowy soft, the least fishy fish I think I've ever had. It is just beautiful, pure white fish. Oh. I think we've had five or six different types of seafood tonight. They're all so fresh, all so clean. What a tremendous find here in Dublin. If you want to see more from our adventures in Ireland, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.